What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're back with another Mercedes. This isn't just any Mercedes though, this is an SLK. I've done an SLK before, but not this generation. I forgot what they call this one, uh, what the numeric code is for it. Let's see how this does. I should tell you guys though, I did drive it a little bit earlier. I did take it on a real drive, uh, specifically to Starbucks. Nice little car actually. Handling is pretty good. It's nimble and it's quite quick despite having just a little four banger turbo I should also mention the check engine light came on when I was driving it so yeah just thought I'd mention that but we're here for the interior interior side though this does drive pretty good so I gotta get one of those too Supra. Someday. But yeah, good driving car. But let's see how the fit and finish and materials are. A little bit of commentary here. This Harman Kardon logo is not in the center of the speaker. And to me, it looks like an afterthought, even though it probably isn't. Knowing Mercedes, it's like that on the other side too. I don't know, just looks kind of tacked on. God damn, that's some of the worst I've ever seen. My arm keeps hitting that. And it's squeaking. The steering wheel is not squeaky, but my arm resting on the armrest is, just to clarify.
All right, time for the button test. And this one doesn't have a button, so you must insert the key. Here's the odometer in case you're curious. All right, how did it do? Like I said, guys, earlier, I drove this car to pick up some Starbucks, and the check engine light was on. Seems to have gone off right now, which is weird it was on a little bit earlier but I went a little bit fast in it and then it went into limp home mode or uh, at least I lost a bunch of power for some reason it wouldn't really accelerate anymore so I slowed down pulled over turned it off turned it back on and it was fine the power was back but then the check engine light remained guess it's off now anyway how did the interior do well guys I can tell right off the bat this is one of the peasant spec mercedes they make a lot of the materials in here are very cheap not like an s class or anything like that wasn't really sure what to expect from this since i'm not i'm not in a lot of these uh convertible mercedes they're not as common but this is definitely uh, pretty cheap i'd say this is like worse than a, a comparable c class which is saying quite a bit I think the C-Class has a little bit better materials, but let's talk about the fit and finish first. Um, this was amongst the worst that I've done so far. I've done really bad Mercedes in the past, but this is going to be like one of those cars. Um, these are always the weak point in these cars. They feel ultra flimsy. You can hear that they squeak quite a bit. It almost feels like I could literally pull this thing out and just break it with my bare hands. I'm serious. These were very poorly engineered. I'm shocked. Hundreds of thousands of these kind of generation Mercedes with these gauge cluster things were approved for production, I swear. Who, who actually thought of this? Definitely a head scratcher, but the center console here from head to toe all squeaks the armrest and the uh, little cover here for the power top controls that's even squeaky i don't even know how they made that squeaky it, but it, it is so this car gets a squeaky score four out of ten again amongst the worst 
I've ever scored. But if you don't care about that stuff and you want to buy this car because it drives nice, go ahead because it will do that. This is a pretty nice driving car. As far as the materials go, again, I mentioned earlier, this is kind of on the lower end of what Mercedes can do. And you can feel kind of every bit of that in this interior. Although I, I will say that the uh, dash and upper areas and even some of the lower areas like the glove box and lower is soft touch. This is kind of hard down here, but that's super low. Like over here, even some of the lower parts on the doors is soft touch. So I got to give them that. They, they could have done plastic, probably but nobody would have noticed, but they, they did all right there have to admit and then I've always loved these Mercedes steering wheels feeling really nice in the hand and they got the uh, the flat bottom I can always appreciate that the seats are MB techs there's no way you're gonna find leather in something like this and then the headliner is plastic this is a convertible though so that doesn't really matter to me so much but this Sun visor is quite possibly one of the worst sun visors I've ever seen. It's not even like a softer plastic or a plastic that tries to imitate cloth or whatever. This is just straight up hard plastic. Like they're they're not even trying like, this feels like um, the kind of plastic that you would find in like a, some playground equipment. I'm, I'm serious, like it's that bad. Like they're not even trying to make this nice. This is some really, really shit plastic right here. They didn't even try to make it nice. And then the buttons are nothing special. Pretty much just Mercedes-Benz parts bin. I was gonna give this a four out of 10 as being a little bit below average, because it is, but I do like how they went a little bit above and beyond on the lower parts with the soft touch. So I'm gonna bump up the score to a five out of 10 for materials. So here's your guys' final score. Four out of 10 for fit and finish, five out of 10 for materials. Please let me know your thoughts. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I will catch you next time. Peace.